What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another Player of the Week review. This time we're taking a look at the Domestic League players, highlighted by Vinny Jr. And of course, Keane. And I don't know why this guy is here, lads. Honestly, a 91 rated keeper with player skill high punt. No idea, man. Honestly, no disrespect to him or anybody that supports that team. But no, it's not it. We also have Bruno Fernandes. He sneaks in again. He's had about 40 cards since eFootball has launched as the ambassador. But the rest of the pack is pretty poor, lads, right? Also, we have this guy here, which is um, going to be another sport in Lisbon, Beast. He's down as an SS as a whole player. He's only 19. He's got a face from Wish as well. Or this face is more like, um, I don't know what they're even thinking here, man. Morik, Morik is worse, the goalkeeper. Watch, he's got a beard in his face here, and look at his face. Honestly, man. But anyway, these five here, right... I'm not going to talk too much about him, apart from this guy, Becker. We did actually spin on our Road to Glory in the stream, if you want to see gameplay with all of these cards. We got Moise Keane, we got Becker, and of course we got this guy, and I think we got... F who else did we get? We got Cambiasso as well, right? So we got a few of them. But I think that these five here can be summed up. These guys are not really going to change dial for you. I think these are probably one of the poorest Player of the Week selections. All of these cards here, you've got a Gold Poacher, Keane, who doesn't have 85-plus type possession... Our balance even going past 75, which is quite poor. His physical contact is okay. Ball control dribbling is okay, and his finishing is okay. It's just an okay card, but he's got inconsistent form, which in my opinion, it's not a huge deal. But honestly, you should have better center forwards by now, apart from depending on this guy to lead your line, okay, as a booster. Becker as well, just a little mention to him. I initially got this guy, and people in the chat and the stream were like, this guy's actually quite decent, right? He's actually quite a beast. Um, he can play left, right, or through the middle, or left midfielder. And I was kind of saying, well, okay, let's give him a try. And he's actually quite decent, lads. Trackback does help if you play him LMF. And of course, he has first-time shot, but not one-touch pass. But he's got fairly nice stats as well. Like, for a card, it's only going to be kind of like running. You're not going to be looking to finish with him, but he's got good finishing. Low pass is poor, but you're not going to be looking to pass with him too much. Speed, acceleration, and balance. Obviously, his balance is quite poor, but it's an okay card at this stage in the game, right? For the likes of Cunha here... Again, it's the same thing with the balance. I'm not going to get too obsessed over that. But a player that's a creative playmaker that doesn't have low pass 90, you're kind of wasting your time in my opinion. Also, with this goalkeeper, he doesn't go over 90 in any stat apart from goalkeeper reach with a good manager. Um, he does have long throw and low punt. But yeah, I mean, it's it's crazy, man. That goalkeeper is there. And then this guy from Sport and Lisbon. Again, you should have a better hole player than this in your squad. This guy is down as an SS, but he's got 70 low pass. 85 plus finishing is nice, but his balance for a short player and a kind of light player is quite poor at that as well, right? I'm also going to throw these two boys in here as well. Lee is okay as a creative playmaker. He does have high uh, low pass. That's going to get the boost as well with this to bring it to 90. And he does have first time shot, one touch pass, true passing, outside curler, low lofted pass. It's actually quite an understated card. And a lot of these cards are very decent because they're small. Anything, any player under 175 centimeters or under 70 kg is going to be very deft on the pitch, right? And he gets the booster as well with unwavering form. And then João Pedro, actually having a good season this year, I would say, and has been a surprise package up front when he's played, right? He's actually a pretty decent player as a deep line forward. Again, the balance lets him down. Um, and I would say that there are a lot better players there for him. But he is a super sub, and he does have some pretty decent stats, right? But these player of the weeks are not worth really talking about too much. Cambiasso, this guy, so I spun him as well as an attacking fullback. He's okay. I mean, his lofted pass and low pass are average. Dribbling is okay, but tight possession and balance are poor. He's down as an attacking fullback, but he does have blocker, fighting spirit, and sliding tackle. And yeah, I mean, he's just a normal right back or left back. He can actually play both sides, which is good. Up a Meccano. We haven't got a decent Up a Meccano card in a long time, but I do feel as if this Up a Meccano card is not going to change the dial too much. He's got 85 plus speed or 84 plus speed. Acceleration is going to be over 75 and three defensive stats that are going to be into the 90 zone, including 90 physical contact. It's an okay card. Honestly, it is. But I just think that like there's just so many good center backs in the game at the moment. Even free Costa Corta, if you've been playing the game for a while, is probably better. Now, Bruno... Me and Bruno in this game, let's don't really get on. He's too slow, he's too sluggish. This card looks to kind of highlight a little bit more of his acceleration by having good acceleration, good type possession, and good attack and awareness for the runs in. And he does have one touch pass, first time shot, true passing, pinpoint crossing, and outside curler, as well as long range curler, dipping shot, and long range shooting. But his balance is the killer on this card again. He's 180 centimeters, but he's under that 70 kg weight. 
and that means that he's going to get just shoved off the ball with no physical balance and balance or physical contact and balance not over 85 and then last but not least we have Vinny Jr so somebody made a good point in the stream earlier they were there talking about like Vinny Jr in the shop compared to this Vinny Jr here okay now we actually did get the Vinny Jr in the shop and it's pretty much better than this card lads it's very very similar you get the 90 plus balance you get the 90 plus acceleration speed and then of course you're going to have 85 plus type possession finishing and and um uh stamina as well as ball control and dribbling all into the 90s so it's going to be a nice card but i just feel like at this stage there's been so many vinnie jr cards even this double touch flip flap and soul control control version i just i'm really down on these domestic right these i've already done a review on the european club championship one but i do feel at this stage man that the player of the weeks and the shop need to kind of like i don't know meld into each other um because this Vinny that's here that we got is better he is a better card like there's no doubt about it in my mind that he is a better card you also have Martinelli there as well who's for free so it just depends on what you want to do this Martinelli if you have a lot of points you might as well get him I'll throw him in there as well he's kind of similar to Vinny without the, the finishing that's kind of how I would describe him he goes to about 96 97 overall when he's fully trained up and he's got a nice player card but I just feel like with this Vinny that's in the shop it's just kind of like the same as normal you know what i mean it's the same as with all these cards so let me know what you guys think we'll be back none of them are going to compare when you've got an ultimate squad like this you know because you're comparing gareth bale versus these player of the weeks you're comparing luis diaz versus rummy or eto so that's kind of where the player of the weeks are a bit weak at the moment but then again if you're playing free to play as i do on my other account and i split my content 50 50 it can be fun to use those players but that is it for me i will chat to you later don't forget to subscribe let me know if you spun for any of the player of the weeks talk to you later